Good morning, Kevin Hunt here, Dragon Dart Racing and Heartland Technical Academy. Well, Christmas break is upon us, and as you can see, these empty chairs show that there are no students. They are already on break. We're just buttoning a few things up. We've got the Merry Christmas written on the board. Semester exams are in the books. I thought I'd take this opportunity to show you how we're coming along with our little project here, you know. So let's go take a look, shall we? Uh-oh, what's that thing doing in here? Okay, here's what we've been doing. Of course, we got our mufflers here. We got our headers, our little shorty headers we're putting on it. We got them painted up yesterday. We've been working on some wiring as you can see our little pile here radiators in it the cooling fans in it we've got the power wire run to the cooling fan we've just got to run our ground we've got our voltage regulator ignition box wired up and we've got uh, our power steering we've got our belts on it we're waiting to put the carburetor on it and then a couple other things I'm really proud of yeah, we've made quite progress, something we're kind of proud of. We were able to wire up this late 70s transmission neutral safety switch to the original wiring to the car. So we're able to go in here. And then if you go over here, put the shifter in park. And of course, we come down to reverse pop her on down to neutral and of course drive so if we happen to take it to the drag strip it'll pass tech and it's pretty interesting how we did it I'll show you what we did was we took the power distribution boxes right here flipped it over took the cover off the bottom and found out which wires went to the original starter relay which is this relay right here and then we raise the vehicle up we tapped in we tapped in to the wiring on the old rain sensor if I can bring it into focus here this wiring right here if I can get it up in there right here this black with the white stripe coming out of the main harness that was your signal wire to the rain sensor this had a 45 RFE transmission in it which is all electronic so we just simply wired that to the center center terminal on the neutral safety switch which provides a ground those of you that work on old Chrysler products know the two outer wires on your neutral switch is for your backup lights the center wire is a ground for the relay so we just didn't even have to run any more wire. We just went from there to there, used the factory wiring harness, and we were able to achieve a ground for that relay, and that's how they were able to have a safe neutral safety switch. The kids made a bracket here. This is so we're able to actually utilize the original shifter with this late 70s uh, 727. We used part of the old bracket, the original bracket for the 727 and then made some pieces there and made a little deal there for that and it works really well we'll be working on putting our kick down throttle pressure linkage on that's what we'll do after we get back from break and just as a recap we've got a homemade homemade cross member which is really nice and sweet and of course shaft masters made us this great drive shaft slip yoke drive shaft and uh, so we ought to That'll work out really well. The rear end in this Jeep is the uh, corporate eight and a quarter, and this thing has a 373 uh, track lock style or posi style rear end. We had that all apart, cleaned that all out. It's got all new gear lube in it, so that ought to be a nice gear for this thing. We've got our transmission lines run. No pre bent stuff. We bent them ourselves. They're not perfect, but they're working just fine. We've got our transmission cooler mounted to our radiator. And 
Now when we're all done, we're going to tidy up all this wire stuff like this. This will have black tape on it and we'll eliminate all wiring that we don't need. But you've got to really be careful when you're doing something like this if you want to make it streetable. For example, this is your transmission controller from the original transmission. As I said, it had a 45 RFE in it. Uh, sometimes you'll eliminate some wiring and something totally unrelated that you don't realize may not work. For example, you may eliminate this wiring and your turn signals may not work. So you've got to be very cautious about that kind of thing. So we want to try to at least make it streetable where we can take it to local car cruises and like I said, maybe venture down the old 660 someday. Here's a few other odds and ends we got for our project too. Check this out. Got this neat little old school looking white faced uh, tack and then of course we got a full complement of all meter gauges. So I think we'll have a lot of fun with this thing when we get it all done. I know there's a lot more that can be done to this thing but we're hoping to at least get it back together and get it drivable maybe within the next 30 days after we get back from uh, Christmas break. So everybody have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and we'll see you when we get back.